Welcome to another Build Day Live video here at Cohesity. It's a great pleasure to be joined by Lynn Lucas. Welcome, Lynn. And would you just quickly introduce yourself to uh, what your role is here at, uh, at Cohesity? Oh, absolutely. Happy to have you here. And I am pleased to lead marketing here at Cohesity. Um, having a great time here since last January, helping Excellent. our customers solve mass data fragmentation. We'll look at mass data fragmentation in another video, but you had a, a really interesting story about a, it was a gentleman you were having sitting next to at dinner yeah. that was a customer that had a really fun story about how they're using Cohesity to completely change the way they operate. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, you know, let me talk a little bit about that. Our customer, Airbud, who's in the media and entertainment industry in Canada, a uh, very popular set of films if you have children, I, as I do, uh, about... Uh, animals, dogs, and uh, they had a struggle with, I think, what a lot of our customers do, which is uh, tape and archive and the slowness of finding material. Um, and so I was really fascinated to hear how they had transformed that process mm -hmm. with Cohesity. So uh, imagine uh, getting a request in uh, from the creative team and they're looking for a piece of footage from a last film for the next film. And really what struck me is this process was quite lengthy. So uh, having to leave the building to go to where the tapes are stored, of course, but then bringing them back, having only two machines running through, you know, tens of tapes potentially, um, two hours a piece and not knowing where that piece of footage or those pieces of footage are. Um, and what was described was between the time of an ask uh, on average, probably four to five full business days before IT could provide um, that right piece of, uh, of creative and footage that they were looking for. So the artist has this idea in mind to reuse some content on the project they're working on and has to wait five days before that content's in front of them to actually to yeah. operate on it. Yeah. And that was all driven by the fact that it was tape-based and doesn't sound like it was very well indexed data on those, those tapes in order to retrieve. So what does it look like now that the customer's got a Cohesity platform out there? So one of the uh, the things that they wanted to do, because as you said, five days is kind of being an eternity now in business, is um, make this a much more agile process. So they have uh, moved their archives to Amazon and also moved over to Cohesity. And in doing so, now have the ability to do global search. So now, instead of getting this request, you know, leaving maybe at 5 p.m., driving down to uh, the facility that's storing the tapes, um, the gentleman can start right at his desk, do a global search on his Cohesity Helios uh, dashboard, um, and is able to typically process the request um, in the same day for that creative services team um, due to our global search capabilities and having that indexing um, and the material much more accessible in Amazon. So one of the elements is the replacement of uh, tape, which is a sequential access media with cloud-based object storage, which gets you your archives off-site, so it complies with your, your data protection for that highly durable off-site. And the other is the importance of having a local index of what's actually out there mm -hmm. uh, to, to be able to do that search. And I would add to that one of the unique factors of Cohesity, which is searching globally um, across uh, the cloud. Um, and in this case, the gentleman is also using Cohesity for some of their on-premise uh, data protection backup uh, requirements. Um, and Cohesity having the ability not just to search the, the metadata, uh, but if we take this case and make it more generally applicable mm -hmm. because so many organizations today have e-discovery uh, e or some type of compliance request, um, Cohesity having the ability to actually search the data within the files as well. So really helping the IT team speed um, these types of requests that can come from other members of the IT department or perhaps other business units. And I think that's where we see those more universally applicable, although we're not all media companies that are producing uh, whole um, feature length films. We often do find we have large sets of data and access to the, the actual archive copies is, is problematic. It's a, a common business problem. A absolutely. I don't myself know of any industry today that isn't subject to some type of uh, regulation uh, mm. for which uh, businesses is looking to make sure that they're compliant to that uh, personal information. Uh, you know, if you're based in 
uh, you know, many countries uh, you are subject, or many businesses are subject to this new GDPR regulation. Yes. And there's always been a lot of regulations outside of that on personal information. And so this, I think, is very generally applicable. Well, thank you, Lynn. Uh, it's a really, I think, enlightening example of uh, deployment with Cohesity. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this Build Day Live video at Cohesity. Stay tuned for yet more videos. All good stuff here from Cohesity.